All right, Lego fans, get right into it. The carousel, set number 10257, 2,670 pieces, seven minifigures, $200 retail, and I think it's worth every penny. You get seven minifigures with this set. Um, none are exclusive, but they are colorful, and they have great printing, and they go well with the set. I think they should give us a few more, though, to be honest with you. But then again, hey, seven is better than none, right? Yes, you do get a ticket booth, and it's a very nice little booth. Simple build, won't take you very long. You get uh, three printed pieces. You get that ticket piece, which is printed. You get two of them, and you also get the uh, cash register piece, which is also printed, thankfully, for that. Because, unfortunately, you get lots of stickers with this set, and I don't understand how you can sully a set that's this awesome with stickers. I don't understand it. They should all be printed, in my opinion, but, hey, what are you going to do, right? So it's a very intricate build. It's really not designed for small kids. If you're buying it for your child, you're going to want to sit down with them and kind of go through it all. You've got a lot of repetitive builds. I don't mind that so much. I think it's fine. Again, those pieces, those uh, storybook pieces, those are printed, thankfully. Thank God for that, at least. And, of course, the canopy is a canvas uh, sort of paper kind of a material, which is fine because if it was brick built. It was simply added to the cost and so we do have a brick-built staircase in the middle of it to give our operator a place to go to um, uh, get stranded kids and possibly do repairs. We do have brick-built animals. The frog is probably the coolest because his legs do move up and down, almost like he's hopping as he goes up and down as the whole thing turns um, in a 360-degree arc. I like the brick-built animals over possibly doing molds for this. Some people prefer molds. I think it's just more clever and more artistic to go with brick built animals. They look fantastic in my opinion. And again, it's a storybook theme, so you have the frog, the tiger, the, the swan, all that. Now, the only problem with the, the tiger really is that there's no studs on top for a minifig to kind of stand on. So you have to kind of clamp his hand on that pole there and just hope for the best, right? <laughs> what are you going to do? That's why they have insurance, folks. So moving right along up next, we have the swan. The swan is stationary. It does not go up and down, but there's plenty of room to set a minifigure in there very comfortably. And once again, hats off to Lego. A great build um, and a great theme. So up next, we have the uh, flamingo, which is probably the most delicate of all the builds. And it is a little flimsy. Be careful. There's no studs on top to secure your minifigure. You, again, you're going to have to clamp them on there and hold on for dear life. The elephant is a, again, great representation, does go up and down, legs don't move, but has plenty of studs on top to secure not one, but possibly two minifigures. Ooh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? He is a little bit on the heavy side, but hey, he's an elephant, right? That's just the way that it is. Now, moving on to the gearbox, a um, couple minor concerns. It is a little flimsy. I'm going to have to probably get a base plate and attach this whole thing to a base plate and add some extra bricks for stability. Um, but that's just what I found when I operated it. It's difficult. It's cumbersome. But when I put the power functions on um, later on, maybe that'll help smooth it out. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so here's the whole thing. As you see, i got to put my hand down on one side to crank it. Otherwise, it gets too wobbly. But, um, yeah, you see it kind of wobbling up and down there. It's not as secure as it should be. Um, I don't know if it's something I do when I put it together or if it's a design flaw, but it's easily fixed, I'm sure, with some extra uh, plates and bricks that just sort of keep that clamp down. But it does work very well. The animals look great going up and down, and I can't wait to motorize this thing and get it in my Lego City. Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing from a 360, just to kind of take in all the colors, all the animals, everything kind of in its continuity and its grand scale. This set will not disappoint. Um, once again, it really will require um, adult supervision and help with this for the kids put it together, but they're going to love it once it is. I will recommend getting power functions for it. I think that's the way to go. Power functions are not that expensive, and you can probably power that baby up for under 50 bucks. Let's put some mini figs in and see what we got. The swan was easy. He just slides right in there. The other ones are a little bit more tricky, and with one hand, it's kind of hard. I clamp them in there. Hang on, little buddy. Let's get the frog next. Put the girl up there. Elephant, that's easy. She'll fit really nice on there. And she does. That's a tough one. Oh, knocked off a slope already. Get it back on there. So, so you see, a little bit touchy, but it, it works nice. Wow, it just, it looks so much fun. It just, it's so... 
detail and the, the many things really bring it to life. I mean, it looks like it's something you would see out of an amusement park or a carnival. And after all, who doesn't love a great carousel? That's a Brickberry Man. I am recommending this set. Pick one up if you can, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.